Hi, and welcome to a Melel quick tutorial on table of contents. Today, we are going to learn how to create a table of contents with Melel. While doing so, we are also going to learn a bit about auto titles on which the table of contents is based. As a starting point, let's take this book manuscript. This manuscript is fully formatted and has chapter headings, subheadings, figure captions, and so forth. All those elements are just text as far as Melel is concerned. That is, Melel doesn't yet know what they actually are. Our first step, therefore, is to find those headings, subheadings, and captions and mark them as such. To do this, we simply select the heading and then double click the appropriate level in the auto title palette. This heading here is a chapter heading, so let's double click heading 2. This here is a subheading, so let's pick heading 3 and double click that. Now we have a figure with a caption below, so we need to select that and double click figure caption. Great, let's continue. Notice that converting the headings and captions into auto titles is very similar to applying a paragraph style, but that is not what's happening here. When you create an auto title, you are inserting a special object into the text, and this element is formatted according to the rules you specify. Let's take these chapter headings. They use a bold and condensed font. Let's try something a bit lighter. Choose Insert, Auto Title, Edit Title Flows to open the Auto Title dropping sheet. This might look scary, but it is actually very straightforward. On the left, you have a list of the Auto Title flows, the types of Auto Titles. This list is essentially what you see in the Auto Title palette. And on the right, you see the details for the flow you selected on the left. We used Heading 2 for Chapter Headings, so let's choose Heading 2 from the list on the left. Now we see on the right all the details for Heading 2 auto titles. For now, the interesting detail is in this field, the Format. Click in the Format field, choose Select All to select all, and let's apply the Condensed Boldface. Now click OK. Notice how all chapter headings in the book changed and that they are using the condensed boldface. Now that all our prep work is done, it's time to actually insert a table of contents into the document. This is a two-step process. We pick a location and then we insert the table of contents. In our book, we've made a special heading for the table of contents at the beginning of the book. So, Let's put the insertion point right after that. Now we can insert the table of contents by choosing Insert, Table of Contents. Note that because we inserted the table of contents at the beginning of the document, all chapters after it were moved ahead by one page or more. But Melel keeps track of this and the page numbers in the table of contents still show the correct number. This table of contents looks nice, but perhaps we can enhance it a little bit by having the page number for chapters in bold. Let's do that. Choose Insert, Auto Title, Edit Title Flows. Now let's pick the flow that we've used for chapters, which is Heading 2. But now, instead of editing the main format, let's change the table of contents format. So let's click the Table of Contents tab here. The format shows us the elements that comprise the Table of Contents line. We have the title, a tab, and right here at the end we have the element representing the page number. To change its formatting to bold, all we need to do is to select it and apply bold. Now click OK and let's insert a new Table of Contents to see how it looks on paper. We'll select the old one. 
delete it, and choose Insert Table of Contents. That's much better. Now that our table of contents is ready, we can share our manuscript with the world. Choose File, Export, PDF, Pick a location and click Save. Our PDF looks great and the table of contents page numbers link to the corresponding locations in the document. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.